not Pastor Josh. We're sorry his midweek message has been canceled for this week. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. But I did want to talk about this idea of cancellation. So last week, my wife and I were supposed to just get away for a few days. We were excited. We were going to leave the kids here. We had these great plans, even if we really didn't. We're just going away for a couple days. And then my kids got sick. No, not COVID or anything serious, but they were sick and we had to then cancel what we were going to do. See, unfortunately over the last two years, I think this has become really prevalent and really commonplace in our culture for things to get canceled. Whether it's events or activities or whole sports seasons, we've seen things taken away. And really, what happens when things are canceled? Well, we react. And generally, we do not react well. Now, I must fully confess, last week when our plans were canceled, um, I pretty much threw a pity party for myself with a parade. There were festivities. It was a whole day-long process as I was kind of mad and grieving and upset that the plans that I had made were wrecked. They were ruined. They were canceled. They were taken away. And a lot of us can be guilty of that. See, we plan things, whether it's a large thing, a trip or something big or a, or a big event or a new job, or we just have a quiet plan. We just want to go out and have a nice quiet night at a restaurant and we get seated next to the loudest group of people in the restaurant. <laughs> These type of things happen all the time. But the big question and what I want to talk about today is how do we respond when things are canceled? See, I feel like we have a choice. See, we could throw that pity party. We could be angry. We could be upset. We could be disappointed. All those are okay emotions. And they are all fine for just a little bit. But the other thing I want you to look at, and the thing that I looked at and reflected upon last week is, when something's canceled, that also presents an opportunity. Because this space or this plan was already made, and now that place is removed. Well, what's left? An empty canvas. A blank canvas thing that we can create again. And that's exactly what happened to me last week. Unfortunately, our plans were canceled and I had my pity party, but when I got over it, I saw some amazing opportunities. I got to have this great faith conversation with someone. I got to spend some more meaningful time with my kids and I was going to leave them at home, but instead I got some more time with them. And my wife and I did find some opportunities to still make time for each other over our fall break. See, when things change, and when things are canceled, what if instead of being that disappointment and staying in that pity party, what if we looked at it as an opportunity? Maybe God is giving us an opportunity to reach out to someone else. Maybe God is opening up our schedule so we can rest and relax. Because here's the truth. The perspective we have of life is very, very narrow. It's tiny, right? We can only see life from our point of view. And we only see a small slice of it. See, God knows how we're intricately all woven together. See, God has the whole picture. See, as a kid, I used to look at those look and find things where you're supposed to look and see a horse or look and see something. I could never see it. I could never see the big picture. I kept reflecting on the little tiny dots and I could never make the big picture come into focus. But God, God has the whole picture. So really, what we have to do is when things are canceled or things change, it's really a chance for us to renew our trust in God. To realize that he has a plan. Yeah, we don't know what it is, but that's part of the point of trusting him. We need to know and we need to trust that he knows where he is going to lead us. He knows what he is going to do. So as you move forward, I have something to admit. Things are going to get canceled at some point again. Whether it's COVID or something else, we're going to be presented with it next time in life or we're disappointed. So my recommendation is keep the pity party short. Look at it instead as an opportunity. Maybe God is causing you to step back, to rest, relax, or just focus. Maybe there's something else that God is leading you towards. Look at it as an opportunity, not as a disappointment. May God bless your day.